Why, hi there, my name is Ron Juckett, and it's been a while since we've done one of these The State of Retro Sports Network videos. And so, I wanted to take a few minutes today to go through what's going on with the channel, answer some of your questions about the channel, and what replays we are doing, okay? Uh, the first one I hear the most is... Uh, why am I no longer live streaming on YouTube? Um, there are two primary reasons why I'm no longer streaming on YouTube. I'm not sure how much longer they're going to let us do that, even with, oh no, we're not touching anybody's account and all that. Um, it just seemed to me this was a good time to go off and try live streaming elsewhere and I'll talk about Twitch in a moment but having said that I'm not live streaming anymore on YouTube everything that I stream is up is recorded and uploaded to YouTube whether it's directly from Twitch if there's no break or onto my hard drive and put on to YouTube so you see it pretty much unless I'm doing something really late you're seeing it on YouTube the same day and when I took a look at my numbers as far as uh, people who watch my stuff live on YouTube and watch on demand uh, for every 16% of the time the, of the of the minutes that people streamed was live 84% of my traffic comes later it comes on demand and so it was never a substantial portion of what I did uh, which was a surprise to me and so when I stopped live streaming to YouTube it went to either taping things or doing things on Twitch and moving them over uh, afterwards my numbers dropped but they've rebounded and in fact the last few things I've done have done really well and so it really hasn't hurt me at all. And so if you look me up on Twitch at twitch.tv slash network, you can watch me live when I go live. In fact, some of you do. And we have lots of interaction and a good deal of fun. And it makes it, I think, makes it for an overall better broadcast. I got to go through still and get the Twitch chat to work. And, and for reasons I'll explain in a few minutes. But... As far as your experience on YouTube, nothing really has changed. I'm just live streaming elsewhere and porting it over to YouTube. And Twitch, if the video doesn't break up, makes that really, really easy. There's a pretty fat pipe and videos are exported once I export them within minutes as opposed to an hour or two to upload a game. Um, and have a process in YouTube. So it's just that easy. And like I said, you get the same experience anyway. Um, so it's really not, to me, it wasn't that big of a deal. Now, why Twitch? Uh, I do this as my day job, okay? Don't expect you guys to pay for it. And I'm very grateful for the people who, who do things with me through Patreon and, and through others. Uh, but the road to financial ability on YouTube is dependent on a 1,000 subscribers. And when I look today, I think I'm either at 487 or 488. And that's after doing this now for pretty much a year and a half of hardcore two, at least two live streams a week or two games a week and uh, instructional stuff and this or that. And there's just not a huge market for watching people play old games. As much, you know, sports games anyway. As much as you guys like what I do, there just isn't, uh, the, the demand just isn't really there. Uh, over in the overall community and getting to a thousand for someone who does primarily sports is almost an impossible task 
almost an impossible task. Uh, I think Baseball Demos has a thousand. I, even our Red Sox fan doesn't have a thousand. ID Jester does have over a thousand, but he does a variety of different things. Some of it war gaming, some of it role playing gaming, and some of it sports gaming. Uh, that's not. It's really hard to do, and so to get anything from Google or YouTube uh, as far as as money is just it isn't going to happen. So there really isn't a lot of incentive for me to go through all the bells and whistles and hoops to do that unless something goes viral. A uh, streamer has heart attack on air. Uh, you know, that sort of thing. I'm never going to get the thousand subs. I don't mean that you don't sub or I don't want new subs. I do, but YouTube is not going to be that vehicle for me. With Twitch, they have different platforms of how many people you need to be able to to get at least some money at least affiliate status whatever you kind of earn for your channel you can start to keep some after a while which means that when you're watching my stuff live on twitch i need you guys in the chat they look at four different things for me to qualify for the money i need to stream for so much so many hours over 30 days which isn't that difficult i think it's eight I need to stream on eight different days over the course of the month. And again, that's not that difficult to do. Uh, I need an average of three people watching in any given stream. And my average right now is 3.3. So again, if you're on, if you're watching, catching me live at noon on a Tuesday or Thursday, I mean, that, that hasn't changed. The, Twitch is watching how many people watch B. Okay, plus I need 50 followers. I have 33. Once I create, once I meet all four criteria, maybe over a 30 day period that I got to do that for, then I'm eligible for money from Twitch. I'm not saying thousands or tens of dollars or, or what have you, but that makes me eligible for some ad sharing money. And that, for me, is the name of the game. Uh, uh, the, the money I get from you, you guys on Patreon or from, from that helps get new content to be able to share with you. And eventually, because it's year two of this computer, a new machine to help uh, get rid of burps and lags and, and all that to make a better product for you. And I think that Twitch is going to be able to, to do that. Uh, Amazon Potential wasn't talking to you. Uh, didn't talk. Very nice. Uh, and you'll be able to get loot for some other games I can make available. Yada, yada, yada. So it's going to be hopefully a win-win situation. It doesn't come without risks, of course. But that's there. The live content is there. I know that some people's work does not allow Twitch as it does a YouTube environment. So you can all catch me as most of you do on demand anyway. And so I think it's a win win. You still get that live interaction and if you want to watch me here and comment and like stuff, then see that too. And I read all so I might not respond to them all, but I do read them at least. Okay. Uh uh eighty six football replay. As most of you know that got corrupted back in November. And the ability, the illusion, because a lot of this is uh, illusion between the years and, and all the other things, uh, the immersion, I suppose, went away when the database program corrupted and turned the Dallas Cowboys of 1986 into the Atlanta Falcons. I had to report all the game, export all the game, for the ones that and re-import them into a clean database, clean database. And so Dallas had three games where it was affected. Philadelphia had three games where it was affected. Two, Denver had one, and whatever. And so we lost that plan long in real time. And so we've got a couple, a couple weeks left to go in the season. So what I'm going to do is finish that but now there's 
you know, hurry on my end to finish replay. We got season. I know what I'm doing next football season. Football is not my favorite sport. My favorite sport, especially over football. But it doesn't mean that it's not going to get finished. If I start one project, like two or three projects you don't see going on that are just for my own personal stuff. Okay? So what we're going to do now that the playoffs begin later in the afternoon, starting this week, we'll do a football game uh, at noon, and then the next few weeks we'll do the noon on Sundays. So we get a football game on which from me for the 86th season. And baseball three days a week. Two of the at least live. I might do all three live on Twitch, but I like doing things to tape as well. So the 86 season isn't dead. It's because it's already running. It's just going to run in its own natural pace. Okay? Uh, still happy with the results. Um, and mildly disappointed that that, that dis- major disruption happened. Because it was plugging her along rather nicely. I, I know some of you prefer football, but by the notes I got from playing a baseball game, you guys like that a lot more. And so we never put people up, but there were no responses and enough from notes from Patreon people to say, 1978 is great. Would you do that? Okay, I will. And so that is the baseball project this year. Started, I think I think we're starting early, and it gave myself some time to take a week off in July for my wife's birthday and whatever else that we need, because it really is a 30-week project. you got 26 weeks of regular season. Uh, if the divisions go as planned, if it matches, I mean, this was a year that teams finished within five games of first place. This this is the season I've always wanted to do the full season we play of. 2100 and some odd games is a lot of baseball. 78 to 84 is possible. We go through the season. In fact, uh, after dinner, I'm going to tape a uh, Dodger game that I promised to put that up. 78 is the season. And then when it falls again, I will do either a, or do both a single replay of my choice. So it's got to be a team that I like. It won't be the 72. Uh, and maybe look at one game on the schedule and play a classic game from that team's uh, history. From, I think I now have the NFL complete from 1962 today. So let's just say, for instance, the Cowboys and Eagles are playing. I might pop open and do the 1980 NFC Championship game and do some class that way, just to have it. Well, I'm Single team replay. Make sure I know what I'm doing for the single team replay. So football, um, and that would be live there um, on Twitch at TV, Twitch TV slash Retro Sports Network. Uh, so, and of course, the next thing on YouTube, other uh, people ask about pictures and stuff like that. I things I've collected for years and really specific for them. It's replays net best place to look um, and t- take a look at what they have. I've, I've just been doing this now for so long as a player that I have a lot of these things. And so if I don't say, geez, uh, elsewhere, I don't really know where I got them. But they're out there, especially if you look around. So, all right, all right. So we are going to go full board into the new year. And so we will finish that and... The Patreon project, which is the 60s baseball tournament, which I believe we've reached the finals of, and a 1978 what if World Series between the Dodgers and the Red Sox, and at some point I know I also games the 1991 World Series because someone paid for that. So thank you all so much. Uh, I will talk to you soon, and again, you know, for all the likes and subscribes and. Comments. They are truly generally appreciated. I do. All right. Talk to you and have a good day.